Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is my unboxing slash review slash setup of the iRig HD2. Um, the reason I bought this over anything else was that it was supposed to come and it does advertise that it comes with Amplitude 4. But there is a new thing on here, a sticker. Yeah, that's a sticker that now says that it comes with Amplitude 5 SE. So we'll find out soon if it truly does come with that. Um, let's open it and have a look what's inside. How much packaging do I need? And it does indeed come with a serial number, which I will use later on. Right, there's the thing itself. I'm guessing this is just full of cables. Yep, full of cables. There's a strappy thing. Yeah, that's the old fashioned USB cable, which is the one I will be using as I intend to use it for PC. And then you've got these two. So one's a lightning, which I will not be using, but I will keep it handy. And there is a USB-C as well. The first thing is to plug it in and let Windows do its thing. Kmultimedia.com forward slash registration download the IK product manager after you've installed that put in your serial number and you will get access to your software once you've registered your product the thing to do is to go to your product page go to download resources and you'll have access to a couple of PDFs. And the most important thing is this, because the ASIO for all drivers don't work with this hardware. Also, the firmware beta is worth a go as well. And there we go. This is what you can expect to see on first launch. You've got very clearly a, a Marshall amp there. There is this section for various pedals. The most important part is this bit, is the signal chain. So you've also got various amps that you can choose from other than that one. Various different speakers you can use. You can just drag and drop as you need to into the signal chain. You'll then see it in the room. There are various mics to choose from. It really does sound like a mic'd up amp in the room. You can choose various different rooms and they all do sound different. You can even change the speakers. So I can put say um, an American 12K in here instead, or I can put even um, a green one in there a green back there's lot, lots of things there's even um, a rack effects unit so you can put that where it goes after the amp I am going to switch to this preset that I'm quite fond of and give you a quick demo <laughs> That was recorded from within the DAW or door that Amplitude comes with built in. If you want to access that, click this button. It's pretty handy. Let's say I've recorded a lead track and I want a certain bit to sound different. Say these first two bars. 
I can cut there, drag and drop, click here, go down to here, enable amplitude for that track. And then it will sound different when played back because you've got the one rig here and the other rig here corresponding to tracks one and three. I suppose the question now is what do I think of it? It's absolutely fantastic. You really can get that great big powerful massive amp sound out of it. And I will be using a lot more of it. If you've got this far, please consider leaving me a like and maybe even a subscribe. Press the bell to get notified. And um, I'll let you on in a little secret if you've got this far. If you've already got an audio interface, there is an option to install something called Amplitude 5 Customer Shop, which is sort of a basic free version of Amplitude 5 with a little store that you can go in and buy various pedals and things or you can just use that to try it out and decide if it's for you again thanks for watching have a nice day